everyone welcome back to my channel today we are painting this beautiful landscapes together with watercolor if you haven't watched my video about watercolor basics before i'm putting it up here so if you want it you can watch it in addition to those techniques i added three more in this painting so you will see it soon by the way i added all the colors and all the materials i used in the description below if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to show me your support. That's very, very important to me. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button so I know what you like and what you don't. Let's paint this beauty. The first technique I want to show you is the masking fluid. If you apply masking fluid in the areas that you don't want any paint to go in, then it's going to stay white. The only thing you have to do is to apply it with a Q-tip or a bed brush into the area that you want to keep white. I said bed brush because if you use your expensive brushes, probably they are going to get ruined because it has this gluey texture and actually it smells really bad. But it is very useful to keep the white areas white, such as snow, the white of the eye, the sun or the waves. While the masking fluid is drying, I am also preparing my paints. Right now I have orange, red, yellow and olive green. It is good to prepare your paints beforehand because I'm going to do wet on wet method, which will require us to move really fast. I am wetting my paper right now and I'm going to go in with my wet paint from red, orange to yellow. As you can see, it looks pretty already. I'm going to dry it up and I'm going to wet just a little bit again and I'm going to go for the second layer, which will darken up my picture a little bit. As you can see, the paint can't go into that masking fluid area. If you have pools of paint, if you use too much water, you can remove it with the just corner of your paper towel, just like this. While I'm waiting for the first sky to dry, I'm going to work on the second sky. I am wetting my paper again. This time I'm going to go with light blue and I'm going to go lighter and lighter as I go down. But I'm not going to put any blue next to my sun because I'm going to use yellow there. I don't want green sky. So all the clouds here I use is going to be red and violet and a little bit darker blue. I used, as you can see, a part of my paper towel to create the cloud effect. While my sky is drying on the second one, I am working on the first mountain ranges on the first one. If you have multiple mountains in one painting, the furthest one needs to be the lighter in shade. And as the mountains get closer to the viewer, they get darker and darker. So as you can see, I'm doing the second one, which is closer to the weaver, so it is darker in shade. I am doing the second layer of the second sky. As you can see, the more layers, the better, especially in watercolor, because it gives depth. Now the last mountain, I want to do it green it's because it's the closest one. It's going to be the darkest one. I'm going to work on it later after it dries. On the second one, now I'm doing the lake. I wetted my paper. I went in with my orange. Now I am doing red and violet reflections. As you can see, I'm using my brushes in horizontal strokes. That's important to give the water effect. I didn't do that in sky. I'm doing it on water. Now my first paper is ready. So I'm going in with my darker green and I'm darkening up a little bit on the grass area as well. On the 
On the second landscape area, I still want to create the water effect, so I'm going to add more colors later to give the wave effect. Now I'm adding, as you can see, the landscape with violet color, beautiful violet, and some more clouds in distance. So now, with the fan brush, you will see how easy it is to create grass and bushes. I just dipped my fan brush in black and olive green. I'm adding my paint on my paper with just multiple strokes of my fan brush. It's all done! So easy! On the right now, with different tones of red and violet, I'm trying to give the water effect with horizontal strokes, as you can see. I added some more yellow and I'm drying the first one before I add my tree. So for the tree, your paper has to be dry and your number two brush needs to be damp. You have to be careful here because, you know, there are details and it's black so it's hard to erase it or hard to cover it up. Now I did all the branches of the tree. I will do the leaves in a second with a very different technique so stay tuned. I am in the plants right now in the lake and their reflections. For the reflections, try to do a lighter shade of black, which means probably dark gray. As you can see here, I'm doing the reflections with the remaining paint on my brush and extra reflections, which are gray color in there with horizontal strokes. Now with the sponge, you just wet your sponge, dip it in your black wet paint and just press on your paper to give this leaf effect. As you can see, your tree is ready already. Here, we are removing the masking fluid with the help of a toothbrush. Just a little bit of it you can lift up and the rest of it will come out really easily by hand anyway. So as you can see inside my sun, there are some spots of orange. I want to cover that up with the help of my white gouache because white watercolor is not opaque enough. Now, after my gouache dries, I'm going to go in and do the final step which is adding my animals. So I'm adding the giraffe right now. These are silhouettes, meaning they're just black. They don't have any details, but you have to make sure that you go in like first, not one layer only, but maybe second and third and maybe fourth layer because you want a really black silhouette, not dark gray. And if you have a very wet brush, then it's not going to get as black as you want. So make sure that your paper is dry and your brush is damp, not too wet. And 
I will do the reflections and I will be done. Full-time tutorial of this painting is available on my Patreon website, patreon.com slash ejegurlash. I post every Tuesday and Thursday a new tutorial for you. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and visit my website, ejegurlash.com. Stay with art and love.